What is going on Lego Maniacs? It's Tyler Lego Guy here, and today we're going to be doing a really, really good set out of Revenge of the Sith, The End of the Clone Wars, and that is Emperor Palpatine's shuttle. It's set 8096, came out in 2010, had, went for 60 US, had 40 mi four minifigs, not 40, and had 592 pieces. Honestly, I think this set's really underrated, and a lot of people don't talk about it. I honestly think that they should, because it's a great set, but we're going to get into the details, we're going to compare it against some picks to see how accurate the set is. And again, if you want to check out the movie footage, you can check that out um, in the link below in the description. Uh, but yeah, enough talk, let's get right into it. So to start off, uh, let's take a look at the set itself. So I'll give you a 360 view. One complaint, this is why we don't like stickers. Because after the set is, what is it? It's coming on 10 years old. The stickers start to peel and then they look awful. So anyways, just a little rant there. Um, the other thing I noticed about this set too, and it's not the set's fault, but this little piece is beginning to crack right there as well. So these pieces are just terrible for that. I just thought I'd mention that. But yeah, now let's look at the set. So I'll give you a 360 view of it. So really good looking, like the angles. If you ever played Battlefront 2, the old one, this one looks so much like it. The colors are a little off, but besides that, it's spot on. So now, there's that sticker up again. I'll uh, show you the cockpit. So pretty cool, good job. This was actually, this piece was used in Plo Koon's Jedi Starfighter as well. Reminds me of a Death, uh, Death Star trench run. Um, but yeah, I like that they included it. I like that piece. But now, uh, I'll show you guys what it's like when you extend the wings. So it looks like that. Really good looking. Also really like the engines on this thing. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. And then it also has this movable uh, turret, which is also nice. And then when you do this, it has nice landing gear. So it just folds out like that, and bam. So it works really good. Um, honestly, they, they, they thought about everything on the set. But now, we'll get into the inside. So how you do this, it's kind of, uh, I'm gonna leave these wings down so I have more space. It's kind of weird. You actually flick these little pieces up, and then do the same thing in the back here. And then the top just comes off like so. So interesting little gimmick that they got there. Um, and then here's the inside. So nothing too crazy, there's two seats. And then we're gonna get into this feature as well. I'm gonna put Darth Vader in there just so you guys can see. Uh, but yeah, I'll do that actually right now. So as you can, oh, as you can see, he's laying down there. So you put him like that, and then you can put his mask on. So the feature, <laughs> Somewhat works. Uh, there you go. He just blasts it off. That is not a feature that's supposed to be in it, but you know what? If you want the feature, there it is. Uh, Anakin's left the ship, kind of like Plo Koon's uh, Jedi Starfighter. Um, but yeah, I thought it was a nice little inclusion. Nothing too crazy. Uh, don't be that hard. You can't click the mask on that way. Um, but yeah, that's the set itself. Now let's look at the minifigs, and uh, yeah, we'll check those guys out. So here we have the uh, minifigs, uh, great looking minifigs, um, Anakin I think was vastly improved in this version uh, against the 2005 version. And then you have Emperor Palpatine, he might be my favorite looking Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> Actually this is the wrong minifigure, just one minute. They used a decoy! Uh, anyways, uh, yeah that was not the right clone, no we got him. So he's actually unique to this set. I think he may, this may be the only set that actually has him. Uh, I'd actually like to check on eBay just to see how much he's worth. And then we get a standard medical droid. Um, same type of medical droid that we get in um, the uh, Hoth medical chamber that just came out. And then what's cool about this too is as you can see it has burnt, there's burntness on the back of uh, Anakin. So they even thought about that. There's no back torso printing on Emperor Palpatine, but there is on the pilot, just that normal um, back pilot printing. So yeah, just great job on the minifigs, really do like them. 
Uh, I think they did a good job. Nice selection. There's four of them for a $60 set back in the day, which isn't bad, especially since a lot of these guys are improvements or unique, unique to this set. This Anakin Skywalker, you only get in this set. That Trooper, I believe you only get in that set, but let me know if I'm wrong, guys. If he did come in another set, let me know. Uh, this Palpatine, I think we get in this in the uh, final duel. Um, the new one that came out in 2010, or Ultimate Duel, whatever it's called. The You know, the one where Darth Vader and Luke fight. But yeah, great looking set, or great looking minifigs. Really do like them. But now, let's look at the picks, just to see how accurate this set is. So here's the pictures. What's really funny is if you type in Emperor Palpatine shuttle, they're almost all Lego, which is kind of frustrating if you're trying to compare it against real pictures. Um, but you know, it's I just thought it was funny. Uh, so here's a real picture, if it will work, of the uh, ship. So as you can see, it's actually light gray with a bit of dark gray. There's no white on. Well, I guess there's a little, a little bit of white, but. Um, yeah, I mean, I think there's too many colors going on with the set. That's one fault I have with it, but not a huge, huge deal. Here's another picture. Here's another picture I thought was kind of funny. There's Upper Palpatine and the obviously hurt Anakin. There's the uh, duel. Great job. Whoever did this did a fantastic job on the pictures. I just thought I'd throw that in there just because, uh, yeah, I appreciate the work people put into it. And here's the last picture that we'll use, so you can kind of get an idea what's going on in here. Um, obviously this set's not nearly as big as it would be if they made it to size, but that's kind of what it looks like. This was really hard to find, like, pictures of the, pre the prequel um, Emperor Palpatine shuttle, like, almost all of them are Lego. Uh, but yeah, here's another pic. So yeah, I think they did a good job, just the cover coloring's a little off, but I thought these pictures would help with the review. Well guys, that was my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, honestly, I think the set was really, really good. Um, the only thing is the color could have been a little, it's maybe a little off. Uh, I don't really know what it's doing with the white in there. Uh, if anything, it should have been, you know, all completely light gray or dark gray or a mix, but there's some off colors, I will give you that. But honestly, besides that, I think it was a great set. Um, the features were cool as well. I know Darth Vader wasn't turned into Darth Vader in the Imperial Shuttle, um, but I think it was a nice little feature to add in. And then as well, him laying on that bed, it would have been much similar to that inside the ship as well. So I think they did a good job all in all. I was actually really happy that they also made this set because I love Battlefront 2, and uh, this was the set to the ship to fly if you're playing Galactic Empire in that game. So I really like that. It also looks like a bird of prey, so really cool. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about this set. Do you like it? Do you not? What's your opinion? Uh, but yeah, if you like the video as well, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. But that's all I got for you today, but take care. Catch you on the next one.